What's going on, my nerd army? So guys, welcome back to another episode of Nerds Memorized. This is going to be a very special one for me. Today, as you guys all know, is October 21st, 2015. So this date is big to all of us, as you saw by the title. This was the day that Marty McFly went into the future. Guys, this is Back to the Future Day, okay? Now, if for some of you guys may know that Back to the Future is by far my favorite favorite, favorite, favorite movie franchise. Back to the Future is my, like, favorite movie of all time. Um, it really is. And some people don't agree with me, and that's fine, guys. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. But the fact is, is that this day has meant more to me since I was a kid than any other movie and everything had ever meant to me in my whole life. I mean, I really, I grew up loving this movie. This has been a tradition, too. I still do this to this day on my birthday every single year, whether I work or not. doesn't really matter. On my birthday, I watch all three Back to the Future movies. Now, some people say that it's a stupid tradition thing, but, you know, to be honest, I don't have a ton of traditions in my life that really have stayed strong over the years. I mean, I'd start to do this or I'd start to do this and just never continued. Back to the Future has continued every single day since I was a kid. I was actually born in 1985. Um, so when I think the first time I ever saw Back to the Future was in 1987. I was, yeah, I was like two or three. My mom had it, and she loved that movie, and so I watched it with her. It was just a cool thing. And then as I got older, we kept watching it here and there. It would, I would watch it. And eventually, when I was about 11... I wanted to watch all three of them on my birthday, and it's been going strong since I was 11 years old. Guys, I'm 30. Um, I'd, I'd watch the Back to the Future movies, and they just always blew me away. They were my favorite movies by far. Some of these characters I've grown to love, like, for real. These are some of my favorite movie characters from any movie. Like, who in the hell would not want to get in the time machine, the freaking DeLorean, and go to the future or go to the past with Dr. Emmett Brown? I don't know one person. That guy would always have been, like, my dream to show up on my birthday and, let's go, Andrew, let's go for a trip back to the future. I mean, shit, man. I, I'm, I'm serious, guys. I, I've always had, like, a really, really deep connection with these movies. I love them, and I really do watch them every year on my birthday. Not to mention, I usually watch them here and there throughout the year as well. Um, like I said, my favorite movie franchise of all time is Back to the Future. And today being the day that Marty McFly went back to the future and came to us October 21st, 2015. And it's really crazy, too, when you think about all the shit that's going on. I know there's tons of videos like this on YouTube, but I really wanted to talk to you about my experience and how much Back to the Future means to me. Then talk about what's really going on in the world. So, I mean, we have hoverboards, in a sense. There are hoverboards. Um, the whole Google Glasses kind of thing, that's, in, that's from there. Um, we obviously don't have flying cars as of yet. Um, but we do have a chance for the Cubbies to <laughs> win the World Series like they did in the movie. We also have 3D movies, which is awesome. 3D movies is a game changer. Jaws 19. <sighs> Still want to see that. But, uh, <laughs> no, I mean, all in all, guys, that obviously there's some things that we haven't reached yet, but that movie did a pretty damn good job associating the crazy shit that's going on. Like uh, Marty's auto tie shoelaces, um, auto lace shoes, he, they're actually working on those. Nike actually has a prototype that they're doing that auto laces itself. This is crazy, guys. Now, I mean, I'm not saying that everything in that movie is true and all that. I mean, that by far, that's not what I'm saying. But I'm just pointing out the fact that it really is a great movie franchise. This movie, this day has been on a countdown for me since I was a kid. Um... One day, guys, will be the day that Marty shows up and shit will be like that. Well, I mean, it kind of is. Not as readily available as they showed in the movies, but guys, that movie... Back to the Future 1 is amazing. Back to the Future 2 is just as up there for me. Um, and Back to the Future 3 is a different kind of movie, but it's still a great movie and it rounds out that franchise. If you guys didn't know, I actually did do a best and worst of the Back to the Future franchises. Um... Check it out. I'll have the uh, 
link for the video in the description below. Check it out. Um, I just talk about my favorite points about all of them and a little bit more of what I'm talking about now, guys. But me, I just want to tell all of you, all of my nerd army, thank you guys for tuning into this video. This is just me wanting to talk about my experience and why I love Back to the Future. Um, and how it's really been a part of my life since I was a kid and I've always watched it and I loved it and it's still to this day my favorite movie of all time. So definitely guys, it's up there on my list. What do you guys think about the movie series Back to the Future? Um, is it anywhere near your top 10, top 5, whatever it may be? Or, I mean, you're not a big fan. I mean, let me know down in the comments below, guys. Either way, uh, love to talk to you guys about it. If you are big fans, awesome. Um, if you're not, that's fine, guys. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. But uh, thank you very much for tuning in, guys. I'm Andrew. You have been watching Nerds Marized. Now it's time to go back to the future. Hey guys, if you like what you saw and you want to see more, make sure you go click that big sexy subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time right here on Nerdsmerized.